What is the crack lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. So today we're taking a look at the Liga MX by Day of the Dead. This is kind of the first collaboration uh, that we've seen kind of a crossover style player pack. Now some of the players in this are extremely good and definitely worth a look at. We have a total of I think it's 11 uh, players as we usually do a full squad and you've got new card designs and stuff like that and most of the players are either four or five stars. There's one three star there as well. But yeah, I mean, there's some good ones here. Obviously, Ochoa is probably the main guy that you're going to be looking at if you want a goalkeeper. And when we talk about kind of meta goalkeepers and we talk about keepers um, that are on the top or top or tier or the upper upper tier, uh, you're talking about maybe 10 guys that can truly excel for you with a gap then between the likes of Oliver Kahn, Cassius, and I would put Donnarumma up there as well. And then under them, then you'd have Oblak, Neuer, um, Czech, uh, and I think this guy is probably going to go in there as well. So we're going to go through the players one by one. We're going to kind of go through a few players more in detail over on eFootballDB.com in just a second. But we are going to kind of cross off a couple of guys that I don't think that are probably worth training up if you do pull them. Um, and if you do pack them. Firstly, it's this guy here, Oreo or Orio. I'm not too sure. Yorayo, um, he's got really low speed for a centre forward, he doesn't even have good finishing for a centre forward, he does have 45 levels, but trust me lads, you're not going to be able to max this guy out, you can you can try on eFootballDB.com and simulate it, but he's not really going to be a player that you that you get, like the only thing you could use him as is it like an in the, in the air kind of player, like if you're looking for an aerial threat, but there's just so many better players there, um, you know, and this guy doesn't even have that many player skills, he does have heading and first time shot, but he doesn't have acrobatic finishing he doesn't have one touch pass to bring in others into the play uh he doesn't have a long ranger he doesn't have anything like that this guy is basically a target man only and uh yeah i mean his stats kind of show that we also have this guy here uh rivero who again is a right midfielder he's fairly okay he's got a lot of levels to go um player skills are a bit lacking he doesn't really have any dribbling any passing or any shooting skills or anything like that, any crossing skills that you're going to need for a right midfielder. He can play CMF, which he's a bit better there. But again, you're going to be looking at a mid player here, a mid tier player here, uh, especially that he only has standard form as well. Uh, Fernandez is another one. We have him as an attacking midfielder. Again, extremely good player. I will be showing one of the other attacking midfielders on this, which I think is better. He does have 36 levels to go. Obviously, there is another one called Meza or Miza on the. Um, the list as well who is quite i think is better than him but this guy does have a ton of player skills he's got all the player skills that you could possibly want for shooting and for passing but he is lacking a little bit in the physicality because he is quite small so that's the only reason i would probably not have him there when you look at the likes of you know cheap options that you can play amf um you know it's probably not going to be something that you really kind of need to get in your team but again if you do pack him he do he definitely would make a good amf uh this is the guy that we'll focus on in a second we also have this guy martin who is a striker we're not going to spend too much time on him because again he's kind of you know pretty similar to the other striker that we had there a minute ago he doesn't have that many player skills he does have 34 levels to go but again you look at his finishing and heading speed and acceleration you're going to be able to get that into the mid 80s and bring him up to an 87 88 overall which again is good as a fox in the box but there's just so many better center forwards there for cheap the likes of darwin nunes the likes of daca that are similar height similar kind of style than him um so he doesn't really have anything much going for him and last but not least we have another center midfielder here this guy is a bit of a, a kind of a yeah i mean i was wondering whether i'd actually go into him in more detail he's very small he's a creative playmaker he is one six eight overall um as a cmf or a, as his as his height which is quite small but sometimes the smaller players can can control really well especially with his balance so when you boost up his acceleration and balance you're going to be getting balance 94 and his acceleration about 90 and then the speed is going to be boosted up as well quite a bit but yeah any of these players are worth checking out lads but i have highlighted a couple of lads over on eFootball db which we'll get into in a second so first up we have even as who we are going to focus on so this guy is a center forward that really excites me um he doesn't have many player skills he only has standard form he is on d rating but i like the way that he trains up because he's a very solid 
um, kind of striker that has everything going for himself and he also has good heading ability even though he's not the tallest he's got good jump he's got good stamina he's got everything that you could possibly want you can train him up in a couple of different ways if you wanted to max out his shooting you can get it up to fairly high we will go over here to eFootball DB and see that his shooting goes to 87 87 and 80 acceleration and then the offensive awareness you could raise that up as well if you wanted to you could take down the shooting a couple and you could pump it in to dexterity, which will still leave him as a 90 overall. Finishing goes to 85, but his offensive awareness goes to 86, which is extremely high. And balance goes to 80. And he's got the kicking power and stamina to back that up. He's got good ball control as well. Um, again, not uh, like the most amazing player, but definitely one I think to watch. Obviously, there is, depending on how you train him up, it's not going to make a massive difference. Reyes, this guy here, we're not really focusing too much on him. He does have interception. He doesn't have blocker, which is a pity. But again, he's got some very nice stats. His acceleration and tackling is very good. He's a smaller kind of center back. Um, so the likes of Timber, I think, would be a better alternative here, maybe. But again, he's going to go to an 86, 87 overall player, depending on how you train him up. So yeah, any of these players are going to be good. This guy's going to have very aggressive tackling. Um, he's going to be fairly quick with the speed and acceleration. His defensive awareness can go to like mid 80s as well. So any of these players that you're willing to pump into progression points to, you will get fairly beastly players out of it. Moving on to the next one that we're going to take a look at is Vega. I was actually uh, watching the stream the other night. And some guy came up against this guy, Vega. Um, and yeah, I mean, his standard card. And he was he was really good, man. He was really, really good. He was really strong. And he has got a fairly high rating uh, when he gets maxed out. I think he goes to a 91 overall. So he goes up 13 levels compared to what you're saying on his player card, seen on his player card here. He doesn't have a lot of player skills, but he does have first time shot. And he does have nice acceleration and dribbling. Which, when we go over to eFootball DB, we're going to see that it goes up to an 88 dribbling, a 90 acceleration, and 86 speed. So again, if you do pack him, he definitely is worth uh, taking a look at because he's got 88 balance as well. But again, these guys are a dime a dozen, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of players there that uh, you can actually train up quite highly. Now, Danny Alves is a bit of a, a bit of a, an unusual one because he's got some very, very high stats, but he doesn't really excel in anything. So he's just kind of... I don't know, he's kind of like a James Milner type player in that he does have a lot of player skills, right? So you've got a lot of the one-touch pass, rise and shot, double touch, cut behind and turn, pinpoint cross and captaincy, and he does have unwavering form. He's one of the only guys on the list to have it. He does train up to a 91 overall as a right back, but we kind of train him up here uh, as kind of like an attacking wing back. So we've got the speed and acceleration boosted up, the offensive awareness boosted up, the ball control and the passing boosted up as well. Now, if you wanted to go more defensive, you could actually take down the speed here a little bit and you could pump it into uh, defense. And then maybe you could take one more down here uh, off the passing and you could put another one into defense to get it up to 78 and then 87 aggression. And then you'd still have a fairly high speed. Now, is he going to compete with like the upper echelon of right backs? That's up to you guys. I would probably play him right mid um, and just have him swing and crosses in and stuff like that. But let me know what you guys think, because he does have a nice player ID as well, even though it is kind of limited at the moment. And then we also have Mitza. This guy is very, very, very good. Uh, he trains up quite high. He trains up from uh, an, a 78 overall. Or what is he? A 78 overall. Yeah, sorry, to a 91 overall. And he's got, again, really good stats. Now, this is be my pick of him. If you actually go into his card here, uh, you have this, like all these player skills. You've got one touch pass, heel trick, long range shooting, soul control, double touch, scissors faint, standard form, but he's on A rating this week, which is why I've kind of featured him. And he does go up quite high, right? So he's got 83 overall in speed, speed 83, 81 acceleration, 89 overall staff for dribbling, 84 for passing, low pass 85, ball control and dribbling are very high there as well. Stamina is quite good as well. I would have liked to have seen his finishing a little bit higher, maybe like mid 70s, which would have brought his card up to a 92 overall. But yeah, the stamina and the balance are probably uh, okay for an attacking midfielder. And the fact that he's on A form this week as well is going to be positive because it means that you're going to get more boosts when you go in play with him if he's got a good form arrow. And then last but not least, we do have the main man himself, Ochoa. Ochoa who is, I remember him playing in the World Cup a couple of years ago, man. He was absolutely amazing. He's got captaincy, low punt, long throw, penalty saver. And watch what this guy trains up to, right? Absolutely incredible. So we've got him here 
and a 94 reflexes, 83 awareness, and 84 reach. They're the three stats that you really need, but it's that offen- that reflexes and jump is what you need because he's not the tallest of goalkeepers. So he would be my pick if you do get him. He is a very good goalkeeper, even his standard edition is. So that is it for another player pack, lads. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip. I'll be back quite soon. Hope you have a good day. Peace.